I'm looking this up, man. We have to see this just, just for perspective. Uh, all the winners from Game Awards 2019. It was Sekiro, Control, Death Stranding, RE2, Smash Ultimate, and Outer Worlds. I'm actually shocked that Sekiro took this over Death Stranding and RE2. I'm actually shocked. Looking back again, and this is still just how we understood the industry works. I remember talking, we were talking about this a ton. This was, this was one of the shows. Oh, it was another show. It was the Red Dead show where we're like, this is winning. Sorry, chat. This is winning. There's no way you're getting around Red Dead 2. This was one of those years as well where it's like, oh, it's a big Miyazaki FromSoft game. It's winning. You can't get around it. It's going to win. This is the, the, the way the industry loved this game. It's winning. Yeah, it beat out Death Stranding and RE2. That's BG3 this year. It is, but BG3 isn't following like a trend that's existed forever. If BG3 wins, then it definitely breaks the trend. It definitely does. Everyone was telling us about this from Elden Ring last year, chat, where everyone's like, these other games are going to win outside of Elden Ring. And it's like, Buddy, no, Elden Ring's winning everything. It just reviewed too well, sorry. That's my ultimate prediction, right? My ultimate prediction is that it's going to be BG3, best director? BG3 did review higher than Zelda, don't get me wrong. You have to realize how much of a pedestal people put Nintendo stuff on. I would be pleasantly surprised if Baldur's Gate 3 won. I would be very happy if some coin toss situation happened and a game that just popped out in the middle of nowhere that no one expected to be as good as it was. And that could possibly manipulate the industry and change things to a way that might allow for other development than the same way that Baldur's Gate 3 existed to do that? Yeah, for sure. But do I think the industry will 100% follow the fucking status quo and things will be exactly as we predict for almost every single Game Awards? Yes, I think Zelda's gonna win. <laughs> I just think Zelda's gonna win it. What did It Takes Two win against? That's a good example. Wow. Resident Evil Village? That Trade Dread was pretty good. Yeah, to me, I'm actually not that surprised. Oh my God, this was the year Returnal 1 best action game. <laughs> against Shiv 2? And Deathloop and Back for Blood? Wow, wow. This was a weird year. 2023 is one of the most stacked years in video game history. Insane. There's 10 games that potentially could take Game of the Year for many other regards if they just came out any other year. Hi-Fi Rush came out in 2021. Yeah, that'd be up here for sure. However, I think the bigger story of the Game Awards Game of the Year nomination is if the industry is gonna follow the same sort of trend, what wins usually wins and you just have to get the hell away from it, this year is pretty much Tears of the Kingdom or is an oddball game that really deserves it gonna take it, which is Baldur's Gate 3. Let me look at the other years. 2022 was obviously Elden Ring all over the fucking place. How far back do we have to go where we weren't getting them right? Cause nobody got, nobody got It Takes Two right. Oh yeah, this one was clear. This one was clear. Obviously, Last of Us 2 was winning. This was Simmons. This was mine. This one should have won. And unfortunately, this is this backs up my story of like, Hades was the biggest fucking thing ever, dude. Everybody was talking about it. This Game Awards, I was thinking Hades was going to take it. I was hoping Hades was going to take it. I haven't even played it by this point. Yeah, 2018 Game of the Year was uh, God of War, which, you know, of course. It won against... AC Odyssey, Celeste, Spider-Man, Monster Hunter World, and Red Dead Redemption 2. Dry year? <laughs> Somebody said dry year. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I think this was, was this the year that like Red Dead 2 was taking everything else? What the hell? Oh my God, I forgot about this. I mean, granted, yeah, I did think Monster Hunter World deserves all the accolades and rewards, but for best RPG, what? Did it win best fighting game? The bigger story is... Will that game that likely deserves it as like a genre defining, defining RPG, which is Baldur's Gate 3, that should win. But will it win against the long running, according to most greatest of all time, industry standard follow up Zelda game? What other poor games came out the year of uh, Breath of the Wild? What other poor games came out this year? Horizon Zero Dawn, Mario Odyssey, fuck, poor Mario. Uh, PUBG, Nier Automata? Damn, Nier didn't even get best game direction. Nier, obviously an amazing game. People love it. People really grew to love it as well. But you have to assume that a lot of people are stupid like me, and they played it once and saw the credits and then reviewed it. 2016, game of the year 2016. Oh my God. And you know what? I'm not surprised at all. 
You know why? People were fucking nutting over Overwatch, bro. Over this squad-based team multiplayer game. It was crazy. It was the biggest shit. From being literally not existing to the biggest shit ever. <laughs> the Game Awards 2015. Um, the winner, Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Going up against Super Mario Maker. Metal Gear The Phantom Pain. Fallout 4 and this piece of shit. All right, yeah, Witcher 3 is a popular game. It was huge. This was one of those like industry games that just dominated everything. Yeah, I get it. Game of the year in 2014, Dragon Age, Bayonetta 2, Dark Souls 2, Hearthstone, and Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor. This, I'll say, is kind of a dry year. This is an actual dry year. For anybody that is curious, what's a dry year? Bayonetta 2 is pretty good right? Pretty great game too. And I think Dragon Age taking a lot of this year it was a little surprising. I'm even remembering back when this happened. This was a weird year, man. This was the first one that was hosted by Jeff. Yeah, because these used to be on Spike TV, right? This was the first time that uh, Jeff produced the show. 19 was when Sekiro won. Let me see if we can look that up. Is this 2019? Oh my God. Oh. Stinging you in the fucking neck. It's like a wasp, and it's like hanging on, and it's like, it's like, we got the fucking shit out of here. Ah, ah, what did I say before this? There should be a part where the guy's like looking at the screen, and then, and then Pyra comes up, and she's just like, oh, he's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this game looks great. <laughs> I mean, hey, <laughs> chat's like, hey. I mean, hey. <laughs> then we went on a four and a half hour tirade. Is Sekiro Bloodborne? Dang, chat, we went down the Game Awards rabbit hole. Holy shit. <laughs>